Much to the delight of baseball and movie fans cheering now, the Bronx Bombers set to face off in a few hours against the White Sox tonight in the first major league game played on the legendary Field of Dreams. News Force John Chandler joins us now in the newsroom with the story. John, straight out of Hollywood. Gilma, I am unapologetically excited for tonight's game. We have been quoting Field of Dreams on ball fields in every corner ever since the movie hit theaters and tugged at our hearts back in 1989. And of course, it is based on W.P. Kinsella's masterpiece, Shoeless Joe, that book a must read. Well, Terrence Mann might say that tonight, this field, this game, is about more than just a final score. They will come. The Yankees and White Sox, that is, and some 8,000 fans. They'll come to this field on a farm in Iowa, right next to this field, the one made famous in Field of Dreams. You want to have a catch? I'd like that. Since Kevin Costner's character had that catch with his dad, families have been inspired to do the same here. That's exactly what, you know, the movie is all about, playing catch with your dad, so. Dream fulfilled? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A dream fulfilled. That's just how the Yankees see this game in Iowa. It's kind of a dream come true. You know, you never thought as a kid, you know, you see the movie, you never think that you actually get a chance to play at the Field of Dreams. Major League Baseball built this field for this game, a short walk through the corn stalks from the original. Yes, this game is about nostalgia and about money, too. We'll pass over the money without even thinking about it. But it's money they have. Peace they like. Getting this opportunity, getting a chance to walk through the corn. Um, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a big moment, special moment. I think it's, uh, you know, good for Major League Baseball. Aaron Judge sees this game as an experience. I like that we have the throwback jerseys for each team. I think that's going to be something special. The Yankees and White Sox will wear these replicas from 1919, the movie based on the book Shoeless Joe. Wearing these uniforms and walking through the corn stalks, Aaron Judge is ready for it all. In fact, but I wish we were playing three games there. You know, everyone's putting in all this work, building the stadium, and doing what they need to do, and it's all for one game. But, um, you know, where I know this, everybody in this clubhouse is excited for it. You know, they should play more than just this one game there tonight. The attendance will be twice the population of Dyersville, Iowa tonight. 8,000 in the stands, which, by the way, are collapsible. They will come down after the game, but the field will still be used going forward. It was supposed to happen last year, remember, but of course the pandemic postponed it. So, uh, Gilma, if you need me, I'll just be over here reciting James Earl Jones' <laughs> memorable <laughs> monologue. Come on, David, I know you know that one, I'm too. I'm telling America you, I get a lump like in my throat. I was going to say, yes. there's tissues nearby for both yes. of you, if you oh know them. Oh, my goodness. I and can't I wait. Love, I love the vintage uniforms and that they're actually walking it's through great. the cornfield. Yep. It's great. It's a lot. It's over the top, but it's great. <laughs> yeah, you got to look right. That and a trip to Cooperstown, and we've got our summer Done. made, right? Done. Mm.